All right, so we got a no cool call. It's about 45 degrees today, but they called me earlier this week. So I identified the unit. Which is this one right here. Seems like it's just blowing cool air out of there. I'm gonna have to hook up gauges, but since it's so cold out here, I can't really can't really tell. But it is going cool there. Um, all I did was let the ladder hatch down in the attic, so I'm gonna go take a peek in the attic. But I think our problem might be out here. Maybe low on refrigerant, but the compressor is running. Alright, so we're gonna check the pressures on this one right here. I think it's gonna be a little low. Got a suspicion we're gonna be a little low on this one. Have to do a leak search. Oh man, we got no refrigerant in there. Need a low pressure switch on here. All right, so I wasn't expecting that. So we are completely flat. There's no refrigerant inside this unit here. This residence, sometimes you gotta look for solenoid valves, but that's not the case. So, no refrigerant. So I'm gonna put some nitrogen, do a leak search. All right. All right, so I got a soap bubble knife drill for my evap. And uh, if we have to pull out the electronic leak detector, that's what we'll do. So I always like to just put my nitrogen, my liquid side only. That'll help me identify any restrictions. Also, so I'm gonna go ahead and close this right now. But we may be able to identify the leak with not much refrigerant in there. So right now, I'm gonna start off with like 47 and just see if I hear anything. So since we had no refrigerant, it would be a pretty significant leak. The presser was running, so we know we don't have any terminals or anything. Blown. I don't hear anything out here. Well, right now, there's no refrigerant at all in here. Completely flat. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to have to do a leak search with nitrogen. Okay. To identify the leak. Mm -hmm. uh, and then see if it's repairable. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That works. Yeah. Yeah. But unfortunately, I, would, I thought it had something in here, but it was empty. So, mm -hmm. yeah. So, just bear with me. I'll probably be about an hour. If it's something I can fix today, I, I can. If, if I can like weld it or something like that, but uh, does it lose it like that? If if it isn't a leak, is it because it just ran out? No. Uh, so 
I don't, I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. No, I, no, man, I don't mind explaining. So I, I like to explain it like this. It's not like gas in your car where you go so many miles and you get on E. Okay. This never should be on E. Whenever it lose any kind of refrigerant, that means it has to be a leak somewhere. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Because it's a sealed system. It should always... Uh, keeps the refrigerant inside. So it's not the coil? Or it may be, but like I said, I have to uh, identify it. If it's the coil, we may have to replace it, and it'll probably be next week sometime, or when we can get the coil. Mm -hmm. But if it's sometime the leak be on the copper, and I can braze it, if I can fix it. Gotcha. But uh, I have to look at the modern serial number, stuff like that. If it's under warranty, it may make more sense to just replace it. So, but, but, uh, okay. We'll take a look at it. No worries. All right. I'll let you do you. Okay, thank I'm you. Going back in the house. <laughs> All right. Thank you. You're What's welcome. your name? My name is Walter. Walter. Mm -hmm. Do you have a car too? Yes, ma'am. I'll leave my car before I leave. No worries. My husband will be out yeah. here when he's done. Okay. All right. I'll try to tell him, but he might have to repeat it. Okay, no problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to put a little bit more in here. So I put 47 in there. It looks like it dropped to 46. But before I go in the attic, I just want to make sure I got enough in here. So we'll go at least over 100. see oil residue in here so Hoping I can hear it with my nitrogen in there. Back it off, baby. Let me see. Yeah, I hear it. I don't know if y'all can hear that. I hear I'm trying to be quiet. I'm gonna write this up. I'm not here for the use any of my soap bubbles. I hear it. So the method of this leak detection was by hearing. I hear the nitrogen. So I can't get no model serial no out this thing. Tried to pick. 
Kill. I don't think this barcode is a serial number. That'd be nice. It does look like some type of serum. Man. If not, I would just, uh, if I can't get the modern serial number, I get the modern number of the condenser unit and just put the right time in here. These days don't pull up the product information. What good are they for? Alright, so I just take a picture of this. So this is a wrap. Maybe I get some footage uh, installing a new coil. All right, thanks for watching.